Dawson Rider review. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with my review of the T-Rex Supercharged Morpher from Power Rangers Dino Supercharge, the morpher that is going with the next season. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the sort of damaged box first. It's kind of, not torn open, but I, I cut too many of the tapes. But uh, there's really nothing spectacular about it. It's one of those open boxes, so the guy was right here in these straps. You have a really cool promotional shot of Dino Super Drive, which is all over the supercharged packaging, even though they're not the first figures to be released. Instead, we get the boring uh, Dino Armor ones, or the whatever, Dino Steel. So, that's a thing. Um, and then on the back, basically, uh, it just shows you, you know, how to play with it. It says, to, you know, a bunch of different sounds. Here's the two modes. Advertises Dino Chargers. Uh, shows that it can combine with the Dino Charge Morpher from last year. And then you get a shot of Dino Supercharge right there. Right there. I'm just going to go ahead and take this out of the way because it's really not helping anybody. Alright, so just real quick here, how this is going to work before I get started. I'm going to do essentially the main part of the review at the beginning, and then at a certain point I'll basically wrap up the review, and I'm just going to do a demo of most of the chargers in here, even though some of them have overlapping sounds, just to give you an idea, because a lot of them just share the same sounds. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this then. So this is the Morpher, obviously, in his little T-Rex mode. You get two chargers with it. You get the T-Rex Supercharger right here, which you probably have already seen in the uh, multiple charger set. So it has this little animation, which is special because it transformed into this little adorable guy. Here it is next to its Japanese counterpart, which I never showed in the previous review that I just mentioned. But uh, just like the other chargers, uh, it has the same thing of these only have two slides and this one has multiples, which is neat. Other than that, they're basically the same color. You do have the eye here instead, and this has Gabutera instead of Tyrannosaurus Rex. But yeah, there's the differences there. Um, and then the other charge you get is just a boring, uh, normal Stegosaurus Charger uh, fossil version. Nothing special about it. We have tons of the other chargers. I'm not sure what else they could have included, but it maybe, it maybe would have been cool to include some sort of variant, I guess. I don't know. It just seems kind of boring, especially after all the charger packs we've been getting with uh, different versions of the same thing and then all the ones we're going to be getting. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm not entirely sure what I would have wanted, but something different would have been nice. All right, so here he is in his little adorable T-Rex mode. He is smaller than Gabu Tier, which I'll bring in in a second. And he overall looks pretty okay to me. Um, he looks very fierce. His eye looks super mad. Um, so there's that. And it, it does switch when you flip it around. Um, and like I said, he's a little bit smaller. His paint's not terrible. Uh, I think the head paint is pretty much the best of all of it. His little hairs up here don't move either. My only real problem design-wise with it is I wish we could hide the handle up here. Um, I know that like the tail would come out here, but uh, in Gabutira there's like a little press button that folds this down, and I'm not entirely sure how it would work because of the trigger being here, but it would just be nice to either fold it down here somehow, or maybe even if you could fold it back and it could just be like an extended tail. It's just like so obvious that it's uh, part of the gun mechanism. That just kind of bothers me. Um, let me go ahead and bring in adorable Mini Tira here. Here he is next to his counterpart here, which is Mini Tira, which he just looks a lot happier about his life. Like this guy's got, he's tired, he's got like bags under his eyes, but Mini Tira is just very happy. And you can see like the tail is here, um, and then the, the handle like hides in here. I'm not sure, like I said, how they would have engineered it. This whole piece has the trigger in it and it goes in. It's kind of like when I was reviewing, it'll probably come out after this, but I was reviewing the Gold Ranger set and like the um, the hinges don't happen on the toys like they're supposed to, and it's like, I totally get saving money in places, but how much money are you saving by not including hinges? Like, how much money do hinges cost? I want to know. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Obviously, this guy is quite a bit bigger. Uh, he's got more paint all around him, um, and he hides his tail better, which is really the biggest draw. I think he's overall more adorable, but, uh, they're pretty different. Um, rah rah and this guy's just straight up close. He can't do rah rah. he's just like, Rrr. So that's my technical. So we'll just move him out of the way for a second. So to transform him, it's going to be super easy, but first we're going to do uh, the sounds. Now the on-off switch is up here, which is kind of nice. It's kind of hidden. It's like, ironically, I want this to be hidden, but they hide the switch up here, so. So you get on and off sounds, obviously right there. All right, so when you press this, you'll get several different roaring noises without any kind of charger in it or anything.
So that's pretty much what it does like that. Now transform it, because you don't have anything going in, it's just super easy. All you do is pick him up and twist his head around. It's actually kind of morbid if you think about it. But it does make activation noises, and if you can't see, we'll watch the eye. It does switch from animal to blaster mode, which is nice that they included that. Um, and then in this mode, it does have a couple generic noises without a charger. So about three different modes there. Now before we put a charger in this guy, let's just go ahead and quickly show it uh, with Gabutira. So, pull it out. Shink, I don't have his noises on, but he makes adorable little noises and cool noises and stuff. All right, so here we have it. Yet again, there's quite a size difference. That's what she said. But, and all the same sort of paint mainstays apply, but um, his eyes kind of got like the same pattern that you have around here, except they keep this pattern here all the time. And he's obviously gonna have different noises and stuff, and he's a different size, but that's about it. I'm not gonna compare the noises. You should be familiar with it. It makes the same, you know, crackhead Kyoyudra noises, but he's also got some adorable mini Tira noises. Um, I should note, before I get started uh, with the main noises, that the uh, Supercharged Morpher does not include the mode changes that this has for uh, when Carnival slash uh, Supercharged Red switches his arms, so he sort of mimics Kyoryujin's powers. Um, it does not include that function, so I should just note that right now. Obviously, if, if it did, and whatever the show says, uh, the sounds will be different, probably, because we don't use the crackhead voice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and use chargers. I'm just going to use the charger here, so it goes upside down, and we'll place it in. It makes that noises, and then you'll get some different roaring. So you get that, and then to eject it, there's actually a little button on his nose which ejects it, which is actually kind of nice. It's kind of hidden. And it will basically make the same thing no matter what charger you put in for that. So whatever charger you put in when it's in T-Rex mode really isn't going to matter. So now we will switch it up. So this is where the real noises are going to be coming into play. So smidge difficult to get in there, which is kind of annoying, but there we go. So the same voice as the regular morpher. And then you get what is actually Tyler's voice. So you just get these two noises. So that's actually pretty cool. It's funny because to me, Tyler's voice sort of sounds close to the generic voice they do for these toys, which is kind of funny. I'm waiting for the charger where he's just like, Dad! Because he just, that's all he does. His only line is Dad, and it's about to get wild, and it's morphin' time. That's it. Um, okay, so that's it for that. Now, we can put the Stego charger in. It will also read it with the same Dino Charge Morpher voice. Stego charger engaged. And there's no standby noise or anything, obviously. All right, that's about the it for that. Now, I'm, I just grabbed two chargers at random, which I believe should have different noises, and that will conclude the core part of the review, and I'll do my little wrap-up and make some highlight about the references. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That was gross, I'm sorry. Um, so, and then, like I said, I'll split away and just do a montage. Well, not a montage, but montage. Anyway, so I got Parasaur here, let's do that. So it says the same noise, or the same phrase, but it made a little bit of a blasty noise. And then I got, what's the other lucky one over here? The Dinosicus Charger. Dino Charger engaged. It's about to get wild. Is it though? All right, so you get wild. the idea. It will make a sound that sort of correlates to it, and then it will have uh, a, a different phrase, but they're usually actually the same. I mean, not the same. Obviously, those are two different ones, but some of the chargers make the same uh, phrase because, as you saw, Stego and Para both said uh, the same phrase. But anyway, like that's it for the core part of the review. Uh, this can read all the chargers pretty much. Um, it will say, when you put them in, it will say the name with the same exact voice as the Dino Charge Morpher. Um, 
Now, after this part here, we will do the noises with all of them. It's just I didn't want to have a huge chunk. Now, for the last feature here, um, it can combine with the Dino Charge Morpher, just like usual. It's on. All you got to do is place it in this mode. And I actually want to put it in this mode. I don't know why I did that. Um, so it's really easy. Yet again, there's not really anything to do. It just slides right in here, and the Dino Charge Morpher will actually make activation noises. So you got that there, and this really won't change the noises whether you put a charger in it or not. There won't be any changes on this side. This one will make a little special noise for that. And also when you do this. And obviously, um, I'm not going to do a comparison of the Japanese version because it's basically going to be you can pretty much imagine. It's just the same details you've already seen just in the combined mode, but obviously supposed to do it, but it's neat that you can combine it. It's a cool feature uh, that adds to it, and I always liked being able to do this. I don't think it flows quite as seamlessly as the mode with the sword, but still neat. Uh, nothing really special about the sounds, though. Uh, to detach it, just press these buttons here and take that off, and there you go. Okay, so that's it for the main functions of this. Um, so overall, I find this morpher to be pretty okay. Um, it basically reads it with the same noises. You do get some slightly unique noises uh, for like action sounds, which is kind of nice. It is kind of cool to have Tyler's actual voice in there, and it it's comes through pretty clear, uh, which is neat. Um, but overall, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's just a little bit underwhelming. Um, it's kind of like... Um, even though I thought the Super Mega Force Morpher was pretty good, it's like I thought the Gosei Morpher was better. It's kind of like that, where I think that the Dino Charge Morpher just kind of did it for me more, and this one's just kind of okay. Um, it's, it does make, I mean, it, it does exactly what I expected it to, but I don't know, there's just something about it uh, that leaves me wanting a little bit more. And design-wise, I do wish they had found a way to get rid of that tail for this mode, and then a few little paint, more paints here wouldn't hurt, but honestly it would be nice just to get that to go away. And then another small little thing is that if you saw on Minitira, he does have movable arms and this guys are just molded right in. I kind of wish he had that too. It's just honestly small little aesthetic things. I think it's mainly because it made Minitira's personality and they just kind of uh, lost that in translation. Um, but overall, yeah, I still think it's an okay morpher that does what I expected it to, but I just think it could have been a little bit more and I don't know how uh, the sounds are going to be in the show for the um, armor modes with the arms, but it, if they're going to be unique, it would have been nice to have that as well. Um, but I don't know what kind of sounds they're going to make, but obviously they're probably going to be showing that in the show. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you have the crazy podcast at RidingRangersRambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now it's time for the boring demo portion. Okay, I'm still going to talk a little bit during the boring demo portion. Obviously, I'm not going to go over the chargers I just did um, in the regular review portion. And I'm just doing all the ones I have on hand, so if I'm missing any, it's because I don't have them on hand. Alright, let's get started. This is basically a number order, skipping the ones we did already. So that's T-Rex, and I got Raptor. Triceratops. Come on, man, let's get a new one going here. Pterodon. Is it though? Is it still extinct? Thank you, Tyler. Go back to look for your dad. Earth set. It's off a little packy, sorry. That one just sounded like he was breaking a plate. Damn. Okay, now Plesio. Plesio. Dino Scrander. Dino Armor X Charger in case. Monster Extinct. Damn, man. Kentro Spiker. Dino Spike Charger in case. 
William the Bloody Charger. Insert Cupid Stupid Joke. It's about to get wild. Finally, now that Cupid's here. You know, that's right. 15, man, this is the worst thing ever, seriously. There I go. Because of the fire, we get it. Okay, 16. We're sort of in the home stretch here. Okay. Over at Pooh. Whoops, I forgot. I think that's my favorite. Just the farting noises and then it's about to get wild is just, it's too much. And then you laugh right after it. Perfect. Apparently weird alien laughing. All right, 19. Whoops, that's not going in right. Spoiler alert, I bet the next two say it's about to get wild. All right, damn it. This is 21, I'm using the colored one because it's the one I grabbed, just so you know. Same functions. Gravity. Please. Man, is it though? Seriously, Tyler. I'm still surprised one of them didn't say dad. Oops, spoiler, I was gonna do that one last. Okay, and then the last one I'm doing here, just as you saw, is the Megazord Charger that you got at Toys R Us. Legendary. Legendary. Then he says it's morphin' time. All right, so that is it for that. Um, like I said, if there's any I didn't show us, because I did not have them on hand. All right, now I'm gone for real.